Hey everyone, it's Miranda. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, then hey, for the first time, why don't you subscribe, become the newest member of the Slashed Squad. Today we have another hair coloring video. My hair has faded significantly since the last time I colored it, and usually when it fades to about this shade is when I reach for my overtone. I've talked about overtone a lot in my previous hair coloring videos, but today I'm lucky enough because they wanted to sponsor me to touch up my hair. Dream come true, right? Because I'd be doing it anyway. But today I'm actually gonna be trying one of their new products, their purple for brown hairline. So yes, the brand has now released a deep treatment and daily conditioner in a purple for brown hair shade. Now if you're unfamiliar with Overtone products, what they are is they have a deep treatment which is a healthy hair dye alternative that deposits color while it nourishes your hair like a mask. And then the daily conditioner is what you use a little bit more regularly to keep up the vibrancy of your hair every time you shampoo so you don't lose the color and you get a little bit of a boost every time you use it. So Overtone has a ton of different colors in their line, but purple for brown hair is a new one. Usually Usually us natural brunettes don't really get to play around with fantasy color as much as the blondes do, but this is a special formulation that is supposed to show up on brown hair. It has a different formulation than extreme purple, which is the shade that I usually use to touch up my hair. And as far as the deep treatment goes, if you use it on light brown hair, it's supposed to show up ultraviolet, and if you use it on darker brown hair, you'll get a tint. And this is a $29 tub, and the daily conditioner is is $18. So the products are great for healthy, quick hair color. They are vegan and cruelty free as well. And I just love that the brand is really trying to be inclusive, not only of hair types and textures, but also of tone so everyone can get in on the fun. So today I'm going to be touching up my purple that has faded with this. And then I'm also going to see how much the purple shows up on my naturally brunette strands. So I'll show you what I've got going on so far. You can see we've gotten a lot of fading going on, especially when I pull up my hair like this, you can see we even have some blonde peeking through where the purples just slipped right out from my last hair dye job, which I um, messed up. <laughs> Now my hair was bleached underneath all of the purple you see currently, um, so I'm just looking for a nice touch up of the purple that we have, but you can see that I still have a lot of brunette in my hair. My color was balayaged into my natural hair, so there's a lot of my natural color in here, especially at my roots and even in kind of the under area. So I'm interested to see not only how well this deep treatment will touch up this purple because we've got a lot of crazy uneven fading going on, but what kind of a tint shows up on my naturally dark brown hair. And yes, I am expecting more of a tint versus like a super uh, vibrant color just because my brown hair is pretty dark. Okay, let's get this in my hair. I'll meet you in the bathroom. Okay, we are in my bathroom and I've changed into a dark top. Now, I am gonna be applying the deep treatment over my dry hair, it is uh, freshly cleaned. You can definitely use this deep treatment on wet hair like a hair mask in the shower, but for the initial color, like the first time you're using it, you get brighter results if you do apply it over dry hair. Here's what the jar looks like. Now let's open it up. I have not looked at the formula yet, but these always surprise me with how vibrant they are. Holy cow, is that vibrant. I am. I'm in love with this shade. I cannot wait for my hair to be this color. Okay, so the best way to do this is with your hands. It's just the easiest way, but of course you can use gloves, which I always do, just because I don't want to leave with purple hands at the end of this. So first, let's section my hair off. I like to do space buttons when I'm coloring my hair, as some of you may know from my previous videos. We got one bun, and then we'll leave a little bit of hair down here to start, and then put the rest up in the second bun. So my hair isn't super damaged. It's definitely healthier than it was just a few months ago even. And I also recently got a trim about a month ago, but my hair is very dry. And as you saw from like the before photo, it's a little bit frizzy right now. You know, this isn't just a color. This is a nourishing deep treatment. So we'll also get some nice soft and healthy nourished hair at the end of this too. All right, let's put on the gloves. And we're just gonna dip in. Hair color ASMR. All right, let's go. Now, the last time I used Overtone Deep Treatment to color my hair, I used the whole tub. So that's kind of what I'm expecting this time. So I am just gonna go a little bit conservatively to start, and then I'll just go back in. Oh, I forgot. 
shoot. Okay, usually before I start putting uh, color in my hair, I just go over my hairline, or not over my hairline, but just under my hairline with some Vaseline, which will help any color that ends up on my skin wipe away instead of staining. And I'll just go over my ears as well. I noticed because I got a little purple on my ear already and I was like, oh, totally forgot to do that. Will I ever get through a hair coloring video without messing up? Remains to be seen. Okay, cool, back to business. So I am just fully saturating the strands going all the way from the root, especially where I have some of this blonde peeking through to the ends. And I definitely want to get the root because I want to see how well this tints my naturally brown hair. Okay, so the first layer is totally saturated and now I'm gonna go ahead and let more hair down and just repeat the process all the way through this bun. For me, I feel like purple is probably one of the more low maintenance hair colors you can do in terms of like fantasy colors because as it fades, it doesn't really look like it's fading unless you know what it's supposed to look like. I mean, it's funny how many compliments I get on my hair when I think in my own head, oh my God, I need a touch up so bad, but I still get compliments every day because people just assume that's the shade it was supposed to be. But if you do have a hair color that's kind of notorious for fading quickly, like teal or red, overtone is definitely the way to go in terms of helping prolong the color way more than just if you were using even color safe shampoo and conditioner. And the formula is really easy to slip through the hair. It feels like a hair mask. And for me, working in thinner sections kind of helps me ensure that I'm getting complete saturation. If you work with thicker strands, it's really easy to miss a spot. Okay, so I'm just gonna time lapse me doing the rest of my hair and uh, I'll check back in with you when I'm done. Okay, so I just finished with the first side. I'm gonna do the other one off camera. I'll be right back. All right, I got my hair covered in the overtone. I started to panic because I started to see the bottom of the jar while I still had a few layers left, but I got through it. Everything is totally saturated and I've pretty much used the entire jar. Okay, so here's the thing. I've actually been told you only need to let this sit for 15 minutes. Leaving it in any longer than that is not going to make it brighter or darker or whatever. 15 minutes, all you need. So I'll see it in 15, then we're gonna rinse this out and I'll show you the final results. I am so stoked. Start. And we're gonna get some of this purple off my skin. All right. <laughs> okay, it has been 15 minutes. I'm so excited to rinse this out. I did want to point out also that overtone, you can use warm hot water to rinse out the color. I love that because a lot of hair colors, you are not supposed to use warm water. It'll strip it right out, but it's winter. I'm cold. I want to be in a hot, warm shower. And with overtone, that's not a problem. It's not going to affect the color. Okay, so I will see you in just a second. I'm going to rinse this out. I'm going to dry my hair and I will reveal the final result. Okay, are you ready for the reveal? And yes, this is what Overtone does to your fingers. It comes off with nail polish remover, no big deal. The color actually came out a lot darker than I expected. It's definitely more of like a plum purple in my opinion, at least that's how it went over my existing purple. I think that it also kind of darkened up the um, natural brunette in my hair. So I'm very excited to get outside and see the kind of tint that we get in the sunshine. It is very sunny out, so ooh, I'm crossing my fingers. Overall though, very happy with how the color came out. Everything came out very evenly, which I was doubting because I had so many different levels of fading in my hair. I had kind of a dark purple on the bottom. I had blonde coming through at the top. And then I had like my botched dye job where there were just lots of different shades of magenta in my hair. But I'm into it, what do you think? Plus my hair feels so nice. Going into this, my hair was very dry because of the season and what climate I live in. And now it's just feeling super healthy and strong and tight. Touchable. I always can't help but just stroke my hair after I use overtone. Okay, let's go outside really quickly and see what the deep treatment did to my brunette hair in the sun. Okay, so I'm outside. It's a little bit windy, but I want to see how much of the purple shows up 
on my brunette. Do you see any tint? I'm gonna try to catch the light in a couple different angles. I did see it in the mirror a little bit earlier, more so under here. It definitely looks more purple than brown. And obviously we were starting out on my hair at a very, very dark brown. In fact, a lot of people mistake my hair for black, so um, it would come out more vibrant if you are a little bit lighter brown than I am. But uh, yeah, I think we still have a little bit of a tint. It definitely darkened my natural hair and it kind of melts into the purple a little bit better. Okay, I see a patch of sun. Let's see. Oh, whoa, yes, I totally see a tint. Also, I've noticed that outside the purple is a little bit more vibrant and lighter than it looked inside. Inside it looked very deep, but um, this is kind of what I expected more so now that we're in natural sunlight. I'm gonna go back inside. My neighbors are looking at me. Also, I do wanna say, besides the state of my hands right now, this product did leave at the bottom of my tub pretty purple. Um, I usually can get it right out with either powder bleach or the bleach spray and then sprinkling some OxyClean over it. Usually, we'll clean it right up. All right, that was my first look for the new Overtone Purple for Brown Hair Deep Treatment, and then obviously I will keep up the color by using the daily conditioner. All right, so please tell me what you think in the comments. I really I really want to know your thoughts. How do you think the color came out? Do you like it? Do you not like it? Is this something that you might try yourself? Let me know. I want to hear all your thoughts in the comments and I do try to answer all questions in the comments as well. All right, everyone. Thank you so much for watching. If you haven't already, hit the subscribe button. Become a member of the squad. If you've done that, high five. But have you hit the bell icon so you know every time a new video goes live? If you don't engage with the video, the YouTube's algorithm will decide what lands on your subscription page and not you. I'll see you in my next one. Bye.